weather. You better be paying attention to it. It's one of the most important things when you RV and especially away from home. Weather. Pay attention. Have your weather radio, TV, and everything set up. Know what you're looking at. If you like my papa's channel, Road Maps and Chaos, make sure to like and, and smash that subscribe, subscribe button. Some of these will happen through the course of this afternoon and into tonight after dark, so our Friday night, you have to be on alert for it. Here's the take home message, the forecast today, rounds of thunderstorms from the Florida Panhandle to Southern Georgia, more rounds into the Texarkana area. These continue to move in tandem to the east, but watch back here, additional storms pop back up. Like I said, not just one and done. And then tonight, very busy, a lot of strong wind, a lot of heavy rainfall, flash flooding an issue too. So how will this storm system impact your region? We'll get into those details at 10 past the hour in your eastern region, at half past the hour in the central. We'll update you in the severe weather today many ways, but Twitter is just one way. I have moderate to severe plaques arise. Well, here I sit, one of my favorite places. Your favorite place? In a recliner, all reared back, feet propped up, listening to it rain. Yawning. Want to go to sleep. Hearing the pitter patter of rain on top of this motor home makes you sleepy. Good sound. Good sound. <coughs> we sit here watching the weather. Watching a little rain here. Deciding what we going to do. Yeah, I called our Uncle Robert. He's older than we are, because he's our uncle. <laughs> well, he's older than Baby Doll. And I told him last night, to ask him what he's doing tonight. <coughs> he said, nothing. They didn't have nothing to do. I said, well, I was sitting here thinking, and I told Melba I was going to call y'all. And uh, see if y'all want to go to dinner tonight. She said, well, I was just thinking about him, too. I was going to call him and tell him if his weather got any worse, we're going to pull up over in the front yard and spend the night with him. Leave our motor home in the front yard, and we can go in the house and spend the night. He thought that was funny. He was, he was getting a good laugh out of it, that his niece just take advantage of him. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a plan for the bad weather. But how much older is he than me? I don't know. Seven months. He's seven months older than baby he's doll. He's still my uncle. But he's still her uncle. Her daddy's 94 and he's about 70. So uh, he was like a grandbaby. But we got a, we got a bad weather plan. Well, yeah, you better figure it out. And you better have some place to go quick in case you run into bad weather in one of these things. So, they ain't too stable. I've seen film of them blowing over. And I've seen film of what happened to them after they got hit by hard, hard winds and by tornadoes. So you don't want to be caught in one of them. Have you a plan? We in the neighborhood, Montgomery. See a house right there behind me? Right there? That's Uncle Robert's house. Now, that's where our safety net was for this bad weather to come through Montgomery last night. We was at a, we was in an RV park, and they didn't have a bathhouse. You normally, I look around and find a bathhouse, see how safe the bathhouse is. This is sort of a new one. They didn't really have a bathhouse. So uh, I pulled up out of the RV park, and we just come over here and got in the cul-de-sac hit up a Robert's house. Well, if the weather got bad, we could run in his house. And that's his house sitting right there. Right there behind the RV. Now, that's the weather plan. You got to have one. Uh, sometimes we went in truck stops and sat and waited for the weather to pass. We've been in, we go in Walmart and walk around, look, and shop a little bit. 
Wait on weather to pass. Hey, everything's fine. Just got a text from my daughter asking, are we okay? We pray we'll see you in the rapture.